I won't be halted. You cannot stand against me. Battles await. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. Uh, too late. Forgive me. Oblivion is calling. That's impossible. <coughs> oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Yeah, it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. This waiting for yes. me. I'm still here. Grotus awaits us. How curious.
do it my way. and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Keston, House Gares, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori. Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Someone opened the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. May Abadar keep you safe.
I'm listening. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. In the middle of the attack, he took off the very ring that would guarantee his safety just to set you up? Possible, but not convincing. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand... <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy! And the mug of a spy! 
Lady Eldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, he immediately pocketed it all! <laughs> Any thief caught red-handed would say the same. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. Well, of course, theft is not to be condoned. However, when the fire burns around you and you are but one step away from death, is it not insane to worry about laws and rules? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Cruel, but true. It was perfectly reasonable, just the way a leader should think. How could you say such a monstrous thing? Is that the way the hero of my book would talk? You sound more like a villain. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tartuccio. How our leader does things efficient and without unnecessary spiritual agonizing. I'll go with him. Efficient? I'd say heartless. Would the protagonist of my book do such a thing? No. I guess I'd better go with Tartuccio. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Tartuccio, your words are quite convincing. But I can't afford to trust words alone. If you're really innocent, I hope you'll prove it with your deeds. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, 
farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands, heroes are on the way. <laughs>